Yes, guys. So today I will talk about solids of volumes of solids of revolution, volume of solids of revolution from polar equations. If polar equations are given, then what are the uh, uh, I mean process of what is the process of finding the volume of solids of revolution? Okay. So solid solids of revolution. What is the volume of that in case when equations are given in polar form? That is the point of today. I mean today's discussion is polar. Polar, uh, polar equations or from polar equations we have to find out what are the volumes of solid of revolution that is the point today now first of all i'll discuss that what is the uh, what the formulae which are used in case of okay polar equations or in case of polar forms to find the volumes of solid of revolution second point then i'll take all these questions as i always discuss about these questions are taken from my students queries in class studies as well as when I study, when I teach in this uh, class, then the students ask me some questions, and I always note down those questions in my diary. And from there, I always ask these questions, and I take these questions here. Secondly, the students who are asking me online questions, okay, asking on WhatsApp and uh, on uh, Twitter, okay, and Facebook as well. So from all those queries, I have to take these questions. So. Or some of them are taken which are very important to the point relevant I mean to the topic today those questions I always take whatever the relevant questions are there to the topic concern today I'm taking this okay topic polar equations I've taken already uh, Cartesian equations etc parametric as well but today I'm, I'm taking polar equations so let me discuss that what are the formulae which are used in case of polar equations okay so to find the volume of the solids of revolution in case of polar equation there are two formulae which are mostly used okay so the, in the formulae which let me take uh, okay if the curve given to us is the curve is r equal to f theta let me take this is in case of polar form okay if the curve is r equal to f theta and the volume of the solid of revolution volume of the solid of revolution solid of revolution by an arc of this curve okay by an arc of this curve r equal to f theta and between the radii vectors, between the radii vectors, let me take radii vectors as theta is equal to alpha to theta equal to beta, let me take. Alpha and beta are the value of theta, the, the radii vectors. Okay, <coughs> so, or the other vector language here. So between the radii vectors, uh, this is uh, okay. Back to the angles here. So theta is alpha to theta equal to beta between these two angles. Okay, and between the curve and is revolved around the initial line. If the area bounded by the curve bounded by the curve r equal to f theta okay and by the radius vector by the radii vectors theta equal to alpha to theta equal to beta and around the or about the initial line about the first is about the initial line about the initial line the area is revolved around the solid formed by this uh, I mean arc between the arc between two radii vector theta equal alpha to theta equal to or this is the vector lens here theta equal alpha to theta equal to beta okay and revolve around the initial line I'll just take how this is possible okay initial line is given by the volume is given by the volume then the volume is given by let me write here then the volume of the solid of revolution and the volume of the solid of revolution solid of revolution 
is given by you. Here we have to take this volume as this is shortcut formula 2 upon 3 pi within bracket sorry sign of integration here theta is equal to alpha to theta equal to beta or between alpha to beta angles this is r q into sine theta t theta try to understand this is to be noted down this formula people use when the solid is revolved around the initial line if second formula this is the first formula if the solid is revolved about the line at theta is equal to pi by 2 okay or revolve about the line at theta equal to pi by 2 then or this is the let me take the initial line here this is the initial line OX OX is the initial line and here theta is equal to pi by 2 along this line and suppose this is the arc here let me take this is the arc here I have taken this arc as that this is P point or this is A point here okay and this PQ we will take this is uh, B point here so arc A P B or A B arc okay and if I join them this arc sorry A B of the curve r equal to f theta this is a point and here theta is at a theta is equal to alpha here theta is equal to alpha okay, this is alpha here and this hole is beta but if i take the two neighboring points p and q then this angle P O let me take X here is theta. The complete is theta here because coordinates of P we have taken R and theta. I'll take and of Q I'll take R plus delta R and theta plus delta theta. Here the polar coordinates. Okay, so this I'll discuss later that how this is possible. Now this uh, curve, I mean this area O P or let me take O A B is revolved around this line where theta is pi by 2 and right? this is the initial line if it is revolved around the initial line this is the formula about the initial line second formula is about the line at theta equal to pi by 2 if this is revolved around this just like y axis then second formula is given by 2 by 3 pi again let me take alpha to beta here angles theta is alpha 2 theta equal to beta and this is rq into cos theta this is the only difference in case initial line this is sin theta d theta rq is same here also rq is same cos theta 2 d theta angles may be alpha to beta alpha to beta we have taken the value of theta these are two basic formulas which we will use and how these two formulas are obtained first let me clarify that how these two formulas are obtained Okay, that is very, this is sectorial area, we just discuss about it. And how these two formulas are obtained, this is very important formula. So we have to just put the value of R, whatever is given to us. And here R also, limits we will find out and then we will solve the volume of the solid fluid. So this second formula, V2, this is V1. Only these two formulae are used in case of polar forms, okay, or when equations are given in polar form then the volume of solids of revolution is to be calculated with the help of these two formulas either this or this if it is about the initial line the volume is to be calculated or evaluated when the solid is revolved around the initial line about the initial line theta equal to zero at initial line theta is zero so about the initial line theta is zero and here theta equal to pi by two if it is initial line, then it is RQ sin theta d theta alpha to beta 2 by 3 pi, 2 by 3 pi. This, this is the first formula. Second is when this solid is revolved around the line theta at theta equal to pi by 2. This is theta equal to pi by 2. This angle pole is theta pi, theta equal to pi by 2. If the solid is revolved around this line at theta equal to pi by 2, then this formula is used. Second one, which is R cube cos theta d theta angles alpha to beta and multiply by 2 by 3, 2 upon 3 or 2 pi upon 3. Okay. Then the second formula. Now let me first clarify 
Then how these two formulae are obtained? First, let me find out these two formulae. Let me first solve that how these two formulae are possible. Let me just use some uh, result from Pepper's theorem. Now, what is Pepper's theorem? I'll take it later. But if you that, let me use that result of Pepper's theorem and then solve that what is the volume of salt of revolution in case of polar fan. Okay, so let me check. Uh, let me solve this equation. If I take this is the initial line OX. Okay, and this is at theta equal to pi by 2. This line is at theta equal to pi by 2 at 90 degree. Okay, and if I have taken this curve, this is the curve R equal to F theta. This is the curve given to us. And if I take here two points, this is A and this is B here that we take. Let me join them. This is, sorry, B point. And this is a point here and this is a point here okay so I've taken this arc a b so this arc a b that this a theta is given to as alpha theta equal to alpha here okay and if I take two points p let me take p point and neighboring point q here q is having r plus delta r this is polar coordinates of this and theta plus delta theta and coordinates of P are R and theta. Okay, let me join them and Q also. This is Q point here. Now, what are the given? What is given to us? This is the angle here. P is having theta angle. The theta angle. And this is delta theta. This is delta theta here, this angle. Okay, so because Q is theta plus delta theta, means up to P, this is theta. And uh, this is alpha, we have taken theta equal to alpha up to this A, OA. A, O, X is alpha. And uh, B, O, X is beta. Complete angle is beta here. This is beta angle here. Okay, now <clears throat> if I take another line, a centroid is lying on this line of this area. If you take this is G point here. This is the centroid of this area Q O P. G is the centroid. If I draw perpendiculars from centroid to the initial line, okay, and to the line at theta equal to pi by 2 from g i have dropped the perpendiculars from g to the initial line and to the line at theta equal to pi by 2 these are the two perpendiculars here let me take this point any point this is uh, a b let me take c point this is d point here that i have taken here d point c and d point now, let me just find, uh, clarify here. If I am just going to prove that how this sectorial area when is revolved around the axis of x, axis of not x but initial line here, O x line, and about this, uh, let me take this is O by line, or this is at theta equal to pi by two. This line is O by, but O by is at angle theta equal to pi by two. Simple. So coordinate these two coordinate axes okay we have taken but this is polar polar equation here this is o is the pole ox is the initial line okay ox initial line here let me write here initial line and o by is at is at theta equal to pi by 2 or it's perpendicular to the initial line you may say that O by is perpendicular, O by line is perpendicular to O x, the initial line, that's the point, or theta equal to pi by 2 here, okay, that is just to clarify, now let us take that what is the G point here, that curve R equal to F theta 
is given and AB an arc of the curve of the curve R equal to F theta that we have taken here. Further let us take let us take a point P point P R theta that all the coordinates of P are R and theta okay and Q R plus delta R theta plus delta theta be the two neighboring points be the two be the two neighboring points on the curve or on the arc AB we may say or on the curve on the curve R equal to F theta then what do we see here then OP is equal to R OP is R OQ is equal to R plus delta R what is angle QOP angle QOP is equal to angle this is QOX let me take which is theta plus delta theta minus angle PUX PUX here which is this is theta plus delta theta minus theta because angle POX is theta angle and angle QOX is theta plus delta theta so this is equal to delta theta no problem delta theta here so what is the area QOP if I take therefore area of QOP or POQ let us say is equal to how much this is given by 1.2 OP 1.2 OP into if I draw perpendicular to OQ from P so this height of this triangle OPQ this is just a sectoral angle so we have taken this PQ as a straight line but it's not a straight line just uh, imagine this this is a triangle here POQ or QOP is the triangle so area of the triangle we know the half base into height but height is this let me take this K point here so PK is given by OQ into sine of angle sine of angle QOP sine of angle QOP so this is nothing but 1.2 OP is R here OQ is R plus delta R sine of angle this is sine of angle delta theta this is delta theta sine delta theta here if I open this it will give us 1.2 R then bracket it is R plus delta R into if I open sine delta theta then it is delta theta minus delta theta whole Q upon factorial 3 plus delta delta theta whole 5 upon factorial 5 etc but I'll take only because this is very smaller value a smaller angle so I'll take only delta theta sine delta the first term I've taken only because sine delta theta series is open and it is delta theta minus delta theta whole q upon factorial 3 etc but I've taken only the first term because neglecting the smaller values okay is neglecting the higher powers of neglecting higher powers of delta theta higher powers of delta theta so we have neglected higher powers of delta theta only delta theta I take so finally what is the area here let me write it just for area of triangle OPQ therefore area of triangle OPQ or OPQ or POQ let me take POQ or QOP no problem 
POQ is equal to half into R into R into delta theta. That means R is square into delta theta. Now, delta R into delta theta is very smaller than that we have neglected. So, neglecting, again, neglecting delta R into delta theta, which is again very small value, very small value, very small value, that we have neglected. Only 1.2 R square into delta theta we have taken. Okay, so this is 1.2 R into R, that means R square into delta theta. This only we have taken. Other terms we have neglected. So this is the area of the triangle POQ. Now let us say this area, let me write here. So what is the area of the triangle OPQ? Therefore, area of the triangle O or POQ or OPQ. OPQ, either say Q, O, P, P, O, Q or O, P, Q, doesn't matter. It's equal to half R square into delta theta. This is, let me take equation number one. Very important point. Now let us take centroid here. So let us take G as the centroid. Let G is the centroid, is the centroid of the triangle OPQ, centroid of the triangle OPQ, therefore OG equal to, therefore OG, this length of the center from O, the pole, is 2 by 3 into R nearly or approximately. This is about approximately or nearly 2 upon 3 r the this length OG comes out to be. What is GC here? GC is to be calculated at the, the radius of the circle okay, which is generated by if I uh, revolve G the centroid around the initial line then there is a circle okay circle will be generated then GC will be the radius of that circle. Therefore, GC, this is GC equal to how much? Again, GC equal to OG sin theta. This is OG into sine of this angle GOX. Let me take sine of angle GOX here. GOX here. GOX, let me take. Why I mean GOX? Now GOX is just equivalent to theta angle because POX is theta. We will take it as OG into sine theta nearly. This we have taken nearly sine theta. So OG is what? OG is 2 by 3. This is 2 by 3 R. This from approximately OG is 2 by 3 R. Length of the centroid from the origin from pole. 2 by 3 r into sine theta. Now this is second equation we have taken. This is the radius GC of the circle which is generated by this centroid G around the initial line. If I revolve this GC around the initial line over x then there is a circle generated. Okay, then, then we have to find out what is circumference of that circle that we will calculate. For that we have to use this radius GC. GC is the radius here. And this is the area of the base, area of this triangle. Therefore, the volume of the solid jet, okay, revolve around the initial line. By Pepper's Thorn we have to use here. So using the Pepper's Thorn, volume of the inch or elementary area, this. Now by Pepper's theorem, this is Pepper's theorem or using the Pepper's theorem, by Pepper's theorem, theorem we know, we know that the volume of the, volume of the, 
solid here elementary we have taken solid elementary area opq opq is equal to area of opq of poq opq into circumference of the this is very important by paper thought being that that volume is equal to area of the this triangle in this case opq into circumference of the circle of the circle generated by circle generated by the centroid generated by the centroid g about initial line about the initial line about the initial line ox okay so area of the triangle opq into circumference of the now for circumference this radius will be used what is circumference therefore this is equal to area of triangle opq which is this first from first we have taken so this area is 1.2 r square into delta theta try to understand this from first and from second this is the radius here into circumference is 2 pi r so 2 pi 2 pi into gc gc is here the radius this gc is the radius here okay so this is given by 1.2 r square into delta theta and this 2 pi into gc what is gc here this is 2 by 3 r into sin theta this is equal to 1.22 cancelled out 2 pi 2 pi plus this 2 by 3 is there 2 by 3 r q into pi equal to 2 upon 3 pi into r q this r and this r square is r q into sin theta into delta theta try to understand this is delta theta here delta theta the area is 1.2 r square delta theta into 2 pi gc gc is the radius radius is given by 2 by 3 r sin theta try to understand okay <coughs> this gc similarly if i find this gd gd will be what gd is this oc now oc is og cos theta og cos theta now og is 2 by 3 r 2 by 3 r cos theta this is 2 by 3 r cos theta oc is equal to dg okay so this oc is this and this is 2 by 3 r sin theta gc gc is this gc and oc are to be used because in case when this solid this triangle is revolved around theta equal to pi by 2 line or the line which is at theta by 2 theta equal to pi by 2 then this radius oc will be used or dg will be used dg is 2 by 3 r cos theta in this place only sin theta will be replaced by cos theta okay so this is 2 by 3 pi r cube sin theta delta theta or if i take this from a to b therefore volume of the now if i extend this within the limit okay if i extend this therefore volume of the solid generated by revolving okay the area revolving the area oab oab okay around or about initial line about initial line about initial line ox 
is given by 2.3 pi let me take outside now limits are alpha 2 beta here theta is equal to alpha 2 beta and this is r cube r cube 2.3 pi are taken outside this is r cube sin theta and delta theta is written as g theta so this is the volume of the solid revolve around the or revolve about initial line this is r cube sin theta d theta this formula we will use or sorry we will use or will be used and this formula will be used in case when the solid is revolved around the initial line this is the basic formula this i just talked initially now it has been proved also now in case second case when this elementary curve o p q or this elementary area is revolved around the line theta equal to pi by 2 or theta pi by 2 then note here if the triangle or the area o uh, p q or this is elementary area o p q is revolved about the line about the line at theta equal to pi by 2 then the radius will be in this case then the radius will be gd will be gd which is equal to oc or ceo is oc which is oc nothing else so OC is 2 by 3 R, which is equal to 2.3 R into cos theta, the base. So this is the okay radius of that circle, that circle which is revolved around, or which is generated by G, the centroid around the line theta equal to pi by 2. For that, this radius is used. So 2 pi into this into area of the base. The area is the same. That will give us the total volume. Around. So th therefore volume of this kind, therefore volume of the solid revolve around or revolve about line at theta equal to the line at theta equal to pi by 2 is equal to so that will be 2 by 3 pi limits again let me take alpha to